Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, you saw in the title, we are trying out the infamous mask dress. What? Is that, may you ask, if you have not seen all the articles that I have seen and read? Let's start at step one. We've been wearing masks. Everybody wears masks, or at least everybody should be wearing masks. So I'm actually kind of surprised that this product took so long to hit the market. I don't know if anybody else has tried to make mask clothing that's like connected to your clothing. I'm not sure. This is the first one that I saw though. And this is the one that I saw everybody talking about as well. So I will give you a little rundown right on the screen right now. Boop. So basically you search mask dress. Black jersey, long sleeve mask bodycon dress from Pretty Little Thing comes up. Now, there's a few articles written about this dress. The one that I saw was about Kate Moss's sister, so I'll click here. Wadi Moss, the 22-year-old younger half-sibling to the famed 90s supermodel, was spotted in this sexy two-in-one getup that combines a turtleneck dress and a face mask. Here's the picture that I saw all over my feed, literally all over it. So immediately, I ran to Pretty Little Thing in hopes to purchase one, and it was completely sold out. Fast forward a week later, I went to purchase it. Sold out again. Like literally, this was so difficult to get my hands on, but of course, I'm doing this video. I got my hands on it. I just had to be patient. Face masks have quite literally become the must have fashion accessory of 2020. Now I'm reading this, I'm not stating this as what I think, but <laughs> I do believe everyone should be wearing masks, but I don't think it's a fashion accessory. But I mean like, yeah, you can make it into a fashion accessory, of course. Like you're wearing a mask, you may as well make it fun. Pretty Little Thing's latest launch has got everybody talking, unveiling the new 15 pound mask bodycon dress. The brand has created the ultimate hybrid outfit so you can head out for socially distanced drinks with the girls. <laughs> Okay. We're still on the fence about it, but this one of a kind style has already proved popular. It's selling like hotcakes. I literally can honestly say that. The model was recently spotted wearing the Pretty Little Things face mask dress while out and about in London, and more recently, these other people. It's now available in five other colors, and here is what it looks like, you guys. Pretty straightforward, it's a black bodycon dress, and it's got a built-in mask. So obviously me and many other people, and maybe you were interested in this dress, but came on also many different questions. Like does the mask uh, reach the specifications that a mask has to reach for it to actually be like doing anything? Let's say you're sweating or you smell bad. Do you just have this constant aroma of all of the smells that your body is making because you have like this dress attached to your face? Cause when you're usually wearing a mask, I feel like if your breath is bad, you can just constantly smell that. But if it's like fully attached to your body, you can smell everything, right? That was like one question that I saw the most. And I, yeah, like, I don't know, I would imagine. And also a big question, of course, is, is it comfortable? Does it pull down on the ears? These are all questions that I am itching to answer. <laughs> I don't, I won't be able to certify the mask, obviously, but I will try and blow out a lighter because that's usually how some people are testing their masks. So I feel like that's a pretty basic test that I can at least do that one. But I can't say that it's, approved at all, you know? I'm not, um, what is the word? I'm not certified to certified this mask. But okay, you guys, I think without further ado, I am itching to dive in. I got it in a few colors. We will try them on, see how the fabrics are, if each color or pattern is a different fabric. I'm not sure. It was pretty inexpensive for this dress. I wanna know. I really want to know, is it good or not? Like seriously, just tell me. So okay, without further ado, let's try on this crazy mask dress. Alrighty, I am so freaking excited, oh my goodness. I'm actually kind of happy that it sold out because then I was able to get it when there was some patterns and like fun things like that. Let's start with the one that Kate Moss's sister wore. I feel so bad saying Kate Moss's sister, like she has a name, Lottie. I just feel like I'm pronouncing her name wrong. Lodi? Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassing. But yeah, okay, let's start with the all black dress. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. It literally just feels like nothing crazy. Like it's just a nice, thin, very soft fabric. I actually wonder what is this fabric? I'm terrible with fabrics, we all know this. 95% viscose, 5% elastane. Did I pronounce any of that right? Keep away from fire. 
Well, yeah. Okay, but here is what it looks like. It's the long sleeve. It actually has these little like thumb holes in here, which I tend to really like. And then of course, the elephant in the room, the mask part of it. It looks like a turtleneck, but it's got these little ear holes to it. So I guess it just goes on like this. My nose is like poking through it. What the heck? And then the dress, of course, just like the pictures, you guys, just like the pictures. I will say the fabric is quite thin throughout the dress and the same fabric actually continues into the mask section. I wish there was like a little insert of just a little bit thicker fabric or like a little cut in here so that you could add a carbon filter um, uh, sheet right in there. I think that would make me feel a lot better about it just because I don't know. I wonder. I like the idea, but I do see that there are maybe a little bit of concerns with the design of it. Like, I love it for sure, but I'm scared of it. Okay, but with all that being said, I think that we should put it on. I'm really interested to hear if you guys think that it's like a look or not, because people are very divided. Some people think it looks really cool. Some people think it looks awful. I don't really know what I think. Maybe I'll know better once I put it on, but I'm gonna throw this one on first and then we'll try on some other patterns. Okay, at first glance, it honestly just looks like a regular bodycon black dress. It doesn't even really look like a turtleneck unless you like pull it up a little bit. It's kind of just like a slouchy, a slouchy neck going on. And also I am stressed, okay? I got a new lens and like trying to figure out this thing has been so stressful because I'm scared I'm filming with it out of focus. Like that is my biggest fear because I can't really tell. <laughs> I like am looking at the viewfinder, I'm like, can't really tell if that's in focus or not, so. Hopefully. But okay, about the dress, the fabric is super, super thin. Like I would definitely compare it to a thin t-shirt material. It's super soft, super comfortable. I don't think it would hold like a lot of heat in, but okay, we're gonna put on the mask portion of it. I was looking for a lighter and literally there is not one lighter in this entire house. So that's great for the test I was gonna do. Like, why do I feel like it's kind of, kind of a look? I don't know, what do you guys think? I also can't smell myself. I feel like that would actually not be a thing because right around the neck, it's like decently tight and then this is all like body con tight and of course there is a big hole at the bottom that I feel like this air and this air is like sectioned off differently. I don't know if I trust this mask 100% because I can actually like see the tip of my nose so I feel like it's a little bit thin for my liking, if I really, really, really wanted to wear this dress, I would just like set a filter in here. Honestly, that's what I would do. But yeah, okay, here is what it looks like. What do you guys think? I actually am surprised with how casual it looks without the mask on. I thought it was gonna look kind of weird, but it's good. Okay, next I wanna try on the pattern that I was most excited for. We got some animal print. Now, obviously not real animal print, it's just a fabric. But this actually feels a little bit different. This one feels thicker, especially around the mask. Oh my gosh, this is double layer. Hold on a second, wait a minute. Okay, and see, this was like the second round of making these because they launched the black one first and then they launched some prints. So maybe they got some feedback about needing another layer of fabric up here. I'm not sure, I can't speak to that. But this dress has two layers here, which I feel like is a lot better. <sighs> yeah, definitely, definitely a lot better. Thicker with the two pieces of fabric. And just in general, this, uh, this fabric is a lot thicker. Okay, this is 95% polyester and 5% elastane. So a completely different fabric on this animal print one. And you know, usually I would say this is cheetah print or leopard print or something, but I always get it wrong. Like literally without fail, you guys are like, it's not that, it's this. And I'm just like, I am so dumb. So I'm not even gonna try. It's just an animal print of some sort. On top of liking this pattern more, I have to say I'm more on side with this fabric and the double layer to the mask. So I'll throw this one on and see if the fit is any different. But yeah, this one's getting my vote right now. Whoa, okay, I'm like actually surprised with how different these two dresses are because on the website they're sold as like the exact same, but there are a few things on top of just the sizing, like you guys, this one is way 
tighter. I got all of these in a size four, but I will say this one definitely fits a lot more snug than the other one. I don't know if it's just the material, probably could be something to do with the material, but also just all around, it feels a lot tighter. I even think it's like a lot shorter than the other one. The other one I could like pull down. This one can't do that. And the mask on this one looks bigger. Look, it looks like an honest turtleneck here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's like pushing my face down. Oh my gosh. I think because this dress is a lot tighter, I mean, the mask is a lot tighter and it's like pushing my nose down. Oh, look at that profile. I have no nose anymore. It's also bending my ears. Okay, I would say if you're gonna get this print, you might wanna size up a little bit. I do think the mask on this one with the two layers is a lot, a lot better. I just wish I would have sized up. Also, the armholes aren't on this one and I could not pull it down even if I tried. So this is just smaller because it's a different material. Oh my goodness. When I I got this one I didn't realize that the print is this pretty little thing is that what this says wow I'm like a walking billboard right now <laughs> whoops also by the way this video is not sponsored by pretty little thing it's not sponsored at all it's sponsored by me basically so just so you guys know I just bought this with my own money <laughs> okay but this is a black and white pretty little thing print I actually genuinely thought when I bought this that it was checkered print that just shows me how much attention I'm giving. But uh, this also has the double layer. So it's seeming like only the black dress doesn't have two layers. There doesn't seem to be a slot where you can put in a sheet, but I think the double layer is pretty thick on this one. Like it's definitely better than some of the masks that I see sometimes that are like pretty much see-through. Yeah, not too much to say, same exact design. It's like a turtleneck into a mask, long sleeve, tight bodycon, we'll put it on. You guys, I swear at the end of this video, I'm going to have no face makeup on, like pulling these over my head and then this whole mask bit, it's like turtleneck galore, like the longest turtleneck to get over my face. But you know, usually when you're wearing this, you wouldn't be putting on three of them. So I don't think that's a huge deal, but let's see. Oh my gosh, Kate, what's up? All of these fit a little bit differently. I'd say from the neck down, this one fits like the cheetah print one and then this one the mask fits a little bit better It's like a little bigger you guys know. I love turtlenecks. So let alone a turtleneck dress It's definitely I like it. It's definitely I like it. There you go fluent sentences. That's what you come here for But yeah fits good. I like the pattern. It's comfy enough um, yeah, it's just pretty little things pattern. I thought it was checkers. Last but certainly not least, we have, oh, okay, this pattern's kind of nice too. Interesting though, this feels exactly like the black one and this one only has one layer for the face mask. So yeah, I would say the other two prints are similar. They have the thicker fabric with the thicker mask and then this one and the black one are the exact same fabric, way stretchier, way softer. Actually, not way softer, that's being dramatic. Yeah, no, not way softer, just way thinner. I will say though, I love this pattern. I feel like this is going to be a look. I'm sure it'll feel like all the other ones. We'll put it on. Okay, I thought the cheetah print was gonna be my favorite, but I think this is my favorite print. I love the way it looks. I don't even know how you'd explain it. Is it like water? It's like this dark blue. This is like a hybrid of all the fits. It's a lot longer than the other two we've just tried on. It's very comparable to the black one. It's got the holes for the hands. It's got the one layer for the mask. This one and the black one was really thin fabric and only one layer. And then the other two were way thicker and two layers and the mask was a little bit tighter and it like pushed down on my face. So there are pros and cons everywhere. Why do I feel like now that I'm like close up, I feel like a Marvel character. I'm wearing like a skin tight blue suit, like add a little red and like, am I Spider-Man? I think there are a few pros and a few cons to these dresses. First of all, I like the idea. I honestly do. Like, I think it's fun. And I feel like people, you know, they're trying to match their masks with their outfits. So I feel like this is a sure way 
to have a perfect match and also to never forget your mask because it's literally attached to your dress. My biggest concern is I hope this fabric here is doing enough and doing its job. I think that is like pretty much the only concern I have with these. Other than that, I just think that they're like a cute dress. I think, yeah, it might be a little inconvenient. Maybe if you didn't wanna have it out, like if you're just chilling at home, you could do that. And then when you go out, well, boom, you whip it out. Honestly, I just really wanted to try them on. And I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised with how they look, but I'm still a little concerned about it. I would love to hear what you guys think of this concept or these pieces in particular. Let me know down below what your thoughts on them are and let me know if you guys have like bought one and wear them. Like how is it honestly? Because it's way too cold here for me to actually wear a dress like this so I won't be wearing them. But uh, yeah, let me know. As always, thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!